guys, in today's video, I want to show you all how I set up my steering wheel. Um, and basically, it's, it's permanently set up. And as soon as I want to play a, um, a racing sim or you know driving game, um, yeah, it's pretty much instant. So I'll, without further ado, I'll show you guys how quick that is. So I'm going to put this in that. Pedals. Have you guys been into that? Underneath. Alright, so let me explain to you exactly what I've done. It's pretty basic, so all it is is a board, uh, a piece of timber there, uh, screwed onto the bottom of the of the desk, cut that board to size, a um, couple of magnets on each side. Uh, and a couple of magnets here. That's what holds the the wheel to that board once that flips up. And um, and that's pretty much it. So it's pretty easy. This knob I bought from a uh, hardware store. It's just a lawnmower knob. Um, I'll show you the timber that 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 the bolt goes through. How I did that, but I'll do. I'll show you that when it goes down. Um, the pedals simply these two rails um, are what bolts to the unit um, obviously from underneath and then these two bolts bolt into the, the board so uh, all I've done there is you can buy these from your hardware, local hardware store as well <laughs> and um, you drill a hole and that just gets allen keyed in and yeah pretty much you can then adjust these. I'm going to get two um, two knob style smaller ones of these, um, so they can come in and out easily. Um, and then you just adjust that forward. I'll put a piece of timber in here eventually, so that will just slide up and down that timber without going left and right and trying to find these holes. So I might put some markers on there so you can find the hole straight away. But that's all in the pipelines. Um, Eventually I'll paint all these black and all these, that whole unit black. So that'll look good. Um, and yeah, so all right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you guys um, how I fold it away. Um, oh, before I do that, that clamp is just a, that, sorry, that that is just a um, latch, a gate latch. And that's the other part of it there. So I forgot to mention that. And obviously that latch is on, that's what holds it up. So I'm gonna show you guys that as well. I have to lift this up first. Undo that. And that's, that's where the magnets come into play. That's that. So you can go back. As you can see, it's pretty much out the way. I don't have any issue with my feet, and there's plenty of room for me. I, I I use it pretty much every day. So I just want to show you while it's there. That's all that is. So that's um, that bolt. Obviously, comes from the top of this small piece of timber. You can't turn that. It's one of those those kind of square headed. Um, bolts that lock in so once once they're hammered in they can't turn and then simply just drill that up and then you just drill that hole there obviously when it flips and so it's pretty easy um, but that's about it so that's how I um, get my steering wheel packed away in no time and set up again. Um, cables, just um, again from the hardware store. These are fantastic. So all the cables are two-way tape for the for the power unit for the steering wheel, taped up at the back there, and neat and tidy. Um, put the chair back. 
Um, you know, it's not an eye saw with a big steering wheel sticking out. Um, so if you're like me, you just like things really neat and tidy. But you don't, you can't be bothered, you know, packing things away and getting them out again. This is a perfect solution. So I thought I'd share that and hopefully it gives you guys some idea um, to, uh, to uh, get your steering wheel um, out the way and make sure life a little bit easier. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and um, give us some likes if you like it. And that's about it. So from me, it's uh, goodbye and good luck.